Hi, I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, and I provide education and commentary on injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention in sports and exercise for athletes and active people, probably much like yourself, so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. And one of the questions that I get a lot when I see patients is, do I really need x-rays? Or should I just go straight to an MRI? And that's a really complex discussion, but uh, there's different things that we as orthopedic surgeons see on x-ray and that we see on MRI. And one of the areas where it can be really confusing for patients, at least orthopedic surgery patients, is with knee arthritis. And so in today's Ask Dr. Geyer video, I want to address that very topic uh, to discuss the role of, of x-rays and MRIs because they show uh, different things and uh, you may see one thing on one and something else on another. And I want to discuss uh, that concept because I think it's really important. Matt asks, do you often see an MRI and x-ray contradict each other? For instance, a patient that presents with lateral knee pain and has an MRI that shows severe cartilage damage along the lateral compartment, but the x-ray still shows a gap. How does a physician go about figuring out which one's correct? Well, that's a terrific question, and I would start out by saying they're both correct. Uh, they're basically pictures. I mean, they're showing you the knee. What's different is, is how they're taken and how it represents the knee. So first of all, before we discuss how there can be sort of a discrepancy, x-rays just show bones. They don't show the articular cartilage, the cartilage lining of the ends of the bones that breaks down with arthritis. But it all, the x-rays also don't show uh, the meniscus. They don't show tendons and ligaments and muscle either. You can see all of those structures on MRI um, but we don't routinely order MRIs on all patients because the vast majority of people don't need that and they're really expensive. So we typically start with x-rays. Now, x-rays may show us a fracture if there's a concern that you have a broken bone. It may show a stress fracture. And yes, it may show arthritis changes. What you'd see on x-rays if you had uh, knee arthritis would be a narrowing of the joint space maybe and you would see uh, some bone spurs developed. Yes, you don't see the articular cartilage that's breaking down but you do see uh, those changes. Uh, again, the narrowing of the joint space and the bone spurs. Now you ask, well why could there be a gap on x-rays and then you get the MRI and it shows severe degeneration? Well, it depends on how the x-rays are taken. A lot of times in primary care uh, doctor's offices, uh, internists, family medicine doctors, doctors, um, they basically, they're not real familiar with orthopedics as much, so their x-ray techs just do uh, what we call non-weight bearing x-rays. You're basically laying on a table and you get an x-ray from the front and from the side and that's what they do. In our office, we do weight bearing exercises where you're standing up, sometimes with your knees bent um, and in different views, but because we want the gravity and we want your body weight to show us what your knee really does in real life. Um, and if your body weight and gravity compress the joint uh, and you get narrower joint space, um, that potentially signifies arthritis changes. So that can be a difference, uh, you know, why an x-ray may not show arthritis if it's a non-weight bearing x-ray. And so um, that's why a lot of times we like to get x-rays in our office and we get weight bearing x-rays. Now an MRI, yes, will show the broken down cartilage, but again, if you've got bone on bone changes in your knee or severe uh, narrowing of the joint or significant bone spur formation in the knee, we usually skip the x-ray because it's really, or not that, we skip the MRI, I should get that right, we definitely do the x-rays, we skip the MRI because we don't want to, there's not going to be much that we're going to do differently. You know, the x-rays show arthritis, we're going to treat it as arthritis with non-operative treatments um, until likely the patient needs a, a knee replacement. The MRI is not really going to add uh, so much to what we're going to do. There are exceptions and there's a lot of nuance because a lot of it depends on, you know, what you complain about when you come in as a patient, you know, basically your history. Um, it depends on what I find as an orthopedic surgeon on physical exam and then obviously the x-rays and yes, potentially an MRI. Now, do you know somebody that has knee arthritis and has questions about x-rays or MRI? I'd love for you to share this video with him or with her so that maybe this uh, video, this information can help. If you like videos like this and want more information on injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention in sports and exercise, subscribe to my video channel. I'd love to share uh, these videos directly with you. I record one or two of these a week. Um, I would love to hear your experiences as well. If you have uh, knee arthritis and have uh, comments or thoughts or experiences on x-rays or MRIs, 
Leave your uh, thoughts, your experiences, your comments in the comment section uh, below this video. And last, go to my website, drdavidgeyer.com. I, I share a number of resources for free, only by email. And those are resources about ways to stay healthy and perform your best. So go to my website, again, drdavidgeyer.com, and you can sign up for my email list, and I'd love to connect with you that way. If you have other questions that you'd like me to answer in these Ask Dr. Geyer videos, send those my way too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful, and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.